you're a man, you love golf, but what should you do about sunglasses? Well, you should stick around because I'm going to cover that. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I want to talk to you about our top picks for men's golf sunglasses. Before I get into that, I'll tell you about some of the common features that all of these frames have in common. Full coverage, lightweight, comfortable grip on the temple, on the nose, ideally both, at least one of them. Uh, and overall, the idea is that I want to give you some frame recommendations. Uh, hopefully one of these will work out for you. Hopefully at the end of this video, after getting some details on what these frames have to offer, you'll have an idea of which one of these might work for you, or at very least, you'll have an idea of what to look for for your own pair. If you feel like I missed anything, you still have questions, definitely reach out to us in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from you. Let's talk about these frames. All right, let's start with the Half Jacket 2.0 XL. This kind of stands as two frames actually because there is a larger version of this that goes by the FLAC 2.0 XL and effectively you're getting all the same functionality and features just in a larger platform. So with the Half Jacket 2.0 XL, you have a semi-rimless wrap performance frame. And with it being semi-rimless, that also means that it is interchangeable, which I like because it means that you can have multiple sets of lenses, but just the one frame chassis. And so you can have lenses for different light conditions or perhaps different sports. Maybe golf isn't your only sport. So this would be a great option for that. It does give you a lot of lens height so that you can address the ball, keep your chin up and still be looking through the lens. Also being semi-rimless, you don't have anything obstructing your vision when you're looking through the bottom portion of the lens. With Oakley's unobtainium ear socks and nose pads, you know that they are gonna grip really well, even as you sweat. It actually grips even better and very RXable. This is a great frame if you need RX and you can even get it in their golf specific Prism Golf lenses or Prism Dark Golf. So amazing options for this frame. And with an SFW of 130 millimeters, this is a good medium, maybe even small to medium fit range. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about golf sunglasses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert Sport RX opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more golf frame reviews, unboxings, and prescription golf content, check out our videos and blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have the Hoa Kipa. This is by Maui Jim. This is an interesting addition, and I want to start with talking about how we almost always discourage polarized lenses when golfing, and there's a good reason for that. It is because polarized lenses can affect your depth perception. It depends on the quality of the polarized lens, and it depends on the person. But affecting your depth perception, obviously not a great feature in a golf sunglass. Also, it doesn't really help you too much. Generally speaking, there's not a lot of glare bouncing off the grass, bouncing off of any of the traps or the features in the course. And so not a huge benefit there. However, the Hoa Kipa is a frame that we see very often on the course. We've seen a lot of golfers wearing this frame. It is an amazing frame, which I'll get into in just a moment, but we've asked, we've gotten feedback from them and from just about every single person we've talked to, they've haven't even haven't even had to think about it. It's just been an amazing pair of sunglasses that works well all the time, but also great on the course. So why am I saying that this usually isn't the first recommendation? Well, because everything Maui Jim does is polarized. Uh, the thing I think that sets Maui apart is the quality of their polarizing filter. And I think that's why it works so well for so many people. Uh, I think it's just, it's such high quality. It isn't giving you those downsides to what a polarized filter, polarizing filter can do on the course. And so it's definitely still something we will stand behind. So why does it work so well? It is a fully rimless, really crazy lightweight frame. They have nose pads that have grip. They have temple grip that is a little textured and is embedded in the tips of the temples. Uh, just overall, the, the first and last impression this thing makes is lightweight and very unobstructed you get full view, it is wrapped, it is a great style. In prescription, one thing to note, because this can be done in prescription, uh, it there is a different model. You have the Hoa Kipa. If you bought the Hoa Kipa, let's say a year ago, and you've been wearing it in a non-prescription, and then you realize, I want prescription in these, you actually can't use that same frame. You do need to 
buy the version that is the prescription version in order to get prescription lenses in it because they are missing a piece of this frame in the prescription version. Anyway, I don't have to get too into that. Definitely reach out to our opticians with any questions you might have on that. But this is a great frame for golf and it's one that we see a lot and we will stand behind. With an SFW of 134 millimeters, it's a pretty solid medium fit. Next up, we have the Tofosi Elder SL. We have another semi-rimless design. It is another wrap design, a more sport-centric, sport-oriented frame design. You have grip in the temple, grip in the nose. You do have adjustable nose pads, which I love. I think that's super important just for giving you that extra customizability on the bridge fit. This is a very large lens. I don't know if you could tell, look at this thing. It has a ton of lens height. It is absolutely going to give you all the coverage that you need. And that is why this is a, a, a go-to pick for us and our opticians. I say opticians because it's our Xable. All of these frames actually are, uh, but this one is a bit of a surprise because it is such a large lens and it's semi-rimless, but that also means it's interchangeable. You can get multiple sets of lenses for just the one frame. Uh, really solid frame and a good price point piece as well. So definitely check out the Tofosi Elder SL with an SFW of 134 millimeters. Pretty solid medium fit. Next up, we have the Lowdown 2. This is a frame from Smith and it is the one here that is the most lifestyle, I would say. It is a great frame for all around use. It's also going to be amazing on the course. There are a lot of people who actually tend to prefer a flatter lens profile, a, a not as wrapped lens, and this would be a good option for you. This is definitely not going to be out of place off the course, but definitely an amazing frame on the course. It is a full frame and it is a flatter six base lens curvature, which is actually much better for prescription. So do keep that in mind. If you have a strong prescription, this is an amazing option for you. There's no grip in the temples. There is grip on the nose, which is great. It's gonna stay on your face. They do actually have a nice auto lock hinge, which makes them very easy to take on and off, even with one hand. They are also available in Chroma Pop, which is Smith's proprietary tint technology, which is amazing. They have some really good golf glasses if you're looking for them in non-prescription. In prescription, we at SporterX have a lot of amazing sport optimized lens tints and colors that would be amazing for the golf course and just all around as well. If you're looking for this as a kind of go-to all around pair, definitely again, reach out to our opticians for help with that. This has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands it more of that medium to large range. Last but not least, we have the Maverick Free. This is a Nike frame. It's actually a part of the Maverick family. The Maverick Free, the free part of it means that there's no frame on the bottom. It is another semi-rimless option, which is really cool. It is interchangeable, uh, crazy lightweight. This is a unique one. And this is a, a frame that I think is, is pretty cool and a good addition to this assortment, especially when it is following the, the low down frame, which is a really good all around pair. This is an interesting, kind of hybrid design where this is an amazing all around pair. This would be great for all around use, but it also has more sport features than you'd find in your typical all around frame. So it is a flatter lens profile, also very uncommon with a semi rimless design. I don't know really of any other options that are a flat lens, but also semi rimless and also interchangeable. So that is cool. Definitely can help with RX ability. That is to say, prescription ability. It does have some more features that Nike put in there with sports in mind, in particular, very lightweight, immensely flexible, especially in the temples. Uh, so it's not very adjustable. Ideally, they'll fit you right off the rack because it's kind of a double-edged sword. This material will maintain its shape, is very flexible, very durable, but you can't really adjust it too much. So if it fits you well when you first put them on, it's gonna fit you well forever. So it's pretty nice. Uh, but the temple tip is very flexible. There is grip on the nose, there is grip on the temple. This nose pad design is a little unique. So it is this floating saddle bridge nose pad design, which I'm seeing on pretty much every sport frame that they're putting out now. And it has good features to it. It has good elements. Obviously it's very lightweight, it's very low profile. It helps with venting. Uh, it can be very comfortable but it's a little more rigid. And so if you have had issues with nose bridge fit in the past, keep that in mind with this frame because if it doesn't fit you well, it can start getting uncomfortable 
pretty quickly. The temples are designed with hat compatibility. They are available in non-prescription with Nike's coarse tint, which is another tint technology that is designed specifically with golf in mind. And like I said, RXable and with an SFW of 137 millimeters, this is a pretty solid large fit. So that wraps it up for our top picks for men's golf sunglasses. I hope now you've ideally found a frame in here that will work really well for you, but at very least you have an idea of what to look for when you're looking for proper golf sunglasses. If you feel like I missed anything, you still have questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and we would love to hear from you. We will get back to you. By the way, if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You reach out to us, we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And like I keep saying, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or informative information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. And I think you should check us out there too because it's cool stuff. You can find us at SportRx. Or perhaps...